Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to fix runtime error 9, subscripts out of range. Well, subscripts out of range can be caused by several reasons and most principally it is because either you have referenced a non-existent array element uh, or you've tried to reference a non-existent item in a collection. Uh, so we'll start off with the collection ones. Uh, so in this example, we've referenced uh, the sheet two from the sheets collection. Uh, and uh, you'll notice that I haven't actually got a sheet two in my workbook yet. So when I press play on this, it does subscripts out of range. Similarly, if I try and reference the item number two in the sheets collection, there's only one sheet in the thing. So when I press play, that one also uh, bugs with the same error. Uh, the next two are because of array. So this first one, I've done an array uh, with element four by five, uh, and then I've tried to reference uh, the um, element of the array for uh, six, uh, and put it as two. When I press play, it says subscripts out of range because uh, there's not six dimensions in, in that um, direction. Uh, there's only five. Uh, and also, uh, finally, it will happen if you forget to put in your actual uh, dimension sizes in your array. Um, so if I press play on this, it subscripts out of range, uh, even though the one is less than a five. Uh, and that's just because I haven't declared it at all. And Excel doesn't support kind of dynamic arrays where it can just be any amount added in. So that's the causes of the error. Uh, or the main causes of the error. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to fix them. Uh, so the first one is pretty easy. Uh, you just need to make sure that your text uh, name for the sheet matches one that actually exists. And uh, so in this case, sheet one. Quite often, so I'm in the sheet here, so I wouldn't actually need to put sheet one. Uh, I'd just need to put me. Um, and that makes sure that wherever it is, it's always going to reference the sheet name, regardless of if you change it or anything like that, as long as the code is in the actual sheet. Uh, next up, sheet two. So uh, in this example, I just need to change this to one, uh, and then that would work. Um, and so that's a pretty easy one to fix. I, again, I could just change this to me if I really wanted to. Uh, the next one, uh, you just need to make sure I'm referencing an array uh, element that actually exists. So if I put that to one and press play, that's going to work. Uh, and then finally, this one, I just need to put in the dimensions of the array. Uh, and that fixes that. So hopefully that resolves your issue uh, if you're having it. Uh, and if you have any more questions, then feel free to jump onto our Discord channel. So thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you soon.